Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgk.com and today we're going to continue modeling the armchair this time. One thing we forgot or uh, forgot to do in the previous uh, lesson is to change or convert the top part of the poof to a uh, an editable poly. So if I just uh, go forward in time, you'll see that we have this uh, cloth form we have created. Uh, but when I opened the scene, it looked like this. The reason for this is uh, because I have changed this to an edit poly and when the frame changes, the cloth shape changes uh, as we talked in the previous lesson. So let's uh, find a pose we uh, like. And let's open this group and choose the pillow and let's convert this to an edit poly. Okay. Now it's independent from time. As you can see, the pose will always be the same. Okay, now I'm going to create the or mold the um, armchair, uh, as I told you. Uh, so I'm going to just let's close the poof group and isolate these two. Then I'm going to open this group and choose the bottom frame here and create a copy of it. I'm going to use the same frame uh, for the armchair. Uh, let's go to the top view, choose the reference we have created and let's make it straight uh, parallel to the X and Y axis uh, so that the modeling could be a little bit um, easier. I'm not, I don't want to do this this um, wide so I'm going to uh, keep the width of this frame but I want to make this a little bit higher so I'm going to go to the edit poly, hit 1 and choose the top vertices and move them up uh, around like four centimeters. I'm reading the value from here. I, you can see that again. Keep an eye on the uh, on this uh, slot in here. I'm going to pull them up, and when I find around four centimeters, I'm going to release my mouse. So it will be a little bit higher than the poof. Okay. And the, for uh, for the second part, I'm going to choose uh, use this uh, uh, pillow cushion as well. I'm going to just uh, hold shift, create a copy. I'm going to hit Alt A or choose align from here. And I'm going to click on the frame. In the X and Y axis, I'm going to align the center to the center position, hit apply. And for the Z, uh, I'm going to put the minimum point to the maximum point and hit apply. And I'm, uh, I guess minimum maximum doesn't work, so I'm going to just move this down manually by hand. And uh, we are going to create the second part on top of this. Uh, okay, maybe uh, let's move this to to the side a little bit, and maybe apply a an F50. It it will, shouldn't be crucial, but I think I will like this better if. It has a more flat to top, I guess. Yeah, maybe we could create a new box as well. It doesn't. It, it's not really that important. Let's get rid of this FFT and use it like this because we will only see the sides. But I didn't want the bottom uh, face intersecting with each other. But it doesn't really matter because uh, we won't really see it. Okay, so let's create a new box. I'm going to uh, go to the top view, create a new box in here. Uh, by the way, I'm going to bring up the reference image again the uh, armchair we were going for was this one as you uh, can remember so i'll keep this on my side to uh, as a reference i always recommend you to do that and let's change the height to something like 10 centimeters and then i'm going to apply an edit poly on top and uh, let's create some uh, let's hit two select an edge and hit alt r and connect Create two edges and let's pinch these a little bit to the sides. Okay. And I'm going to hit four, select these two faces and hit extrude. And let's create a height for this. I guess 15 is good enough. Okay. Maybe two more centimeters. Okay. And also I'm going to hit F and hit one and bring these two a little bit closer. I guess should have wider uh, arm lengths. 
yeah cool uh, maybe even a little bit higher by the way we could uh, find some references uh, online and uh, this height here is 55 centimeters and let's search for armchair dimensions online and see some general dimensions so that we are not doing something terribly wrong I guess uh, let's find out that yeah this is for, uh, 42 centimeters and this is 80 uh, 58 centimeters so I guess we are close enough maybe even a little bit higher than right and uh, let's also find the 42 centimeters as well let's see if the sitting height is good okay I'm going to use uh, an extra cushion in here so it seems good so let's do that as well uh, we can create that from here I can, I can just go to the edit poly choose this hold shift and create a copy of this and um, actually let's delete that first I want to detach this as a clone and uh, I can choose this later on this face in here and apply a shell modifier go to the front view and we can see that yeah, the, we can match the height to this box in here okay okay of course these are rough uh, dimensions so uh, it doesn't it's not really that important that uh, to be exact because this is a fabric and uh, it's just it bends anyway uh, puffs and shrinks anyway so it it will change dimensions uh, but uh, getting the dimensions generally right is very very um, wise to do it will save you a lot of time it will uh, make everything look mu much more realistic so I really recommend that. Okay, let's bring this in a little bit more. Okay, and then uh, as the last piece, last piece, I'm going to create another box to the back side. Yeah, uh, let's hit Alt A again. In the Z axis, I want to put minimum to minimum this time, <clears throat> and I guess add an edit poly on top again and pull this face a little bit back. Uh, I'm just trying to match the reference and maybe make this a little bit thinner on the top and then pull it a little bit back as well yeah now uh, of course everything seems uh, very jagged uh, or jagged uh, sorry uh, sharp on the edges we we do need much more smoother surfaces much more random fabric like uh, surfaces so uh, let's detach these from this group and let's just isolate this maybe pull the back side a little bit more up yeah okay and let's play uh, with these shapes now first thing uh, we want to do before we apply turbo smooth we want to just squeeze the edges uh, so that we have some sharper corners than uh, this in here so let's just create two edges swift loops here and here and here and here and here and on the bottom side as well maybe in here as well uh, maybe in here as well also on the back side okay uh, let's apply a turbo smooth and see how this is uh, looking yeah, it looks good uh, there is one thing we have missed is here yeah Guess it looks good and then I'm going to do the same thing for this one uh, this uh, technique I'm showing you is a general technique I use to create actual base shapes of these uh, fabrics I always sculpt them further in ZBrush uh, or even create them in uh, Marvelous Designer uh, as I told you before we will uh, go through some examples that I will use Marvelous Designer to create these shapes but this is the basic uh, 3ds max modeling uh, tutorial series so I guess putting uh, models designer in is a little bit of a stretch so I'm going to create some basic fabrics uh, for these two tutorials uh, these uh, tutorials but don't worry later uh, we will have much more realistic fabrics and everything but this is uh, I, I think this is good enough to begin with right because uh, even this shape in here looks much more realistic than uh, basic turbo smooth shape so uh, this technique I really like a lot uh, it carried me through my 
ad visualization career in the beginning of my ad visualization career a lot. So, uh, so I wanted to share this with you, I guess. Okay, let's uh, do some cloth action. I'm going to apply cloth modifier on top of this. Go to the object properties, choose this as a cloth. Uh, apply some internal pressure for is good. And let's just zero the gravity and let's just simulate it and see how it looks. Uh, if you let it uh, calculate uh, a lot, it looks a little bit weird, but let's just uh, use the second frame, for example. You can see that it, it looks much more fabric-y than this in here, right? And as I told you, you can add a lot of details uh, to this in ZBrush. In, um, you can use this as a base shape and uh, detail this further in Marvel's Designer. But whatever you want to do, you can do it. So. It's a really good technique. Uh, so let's apply another cloth to this. Let's go to object properties. This one should be cloth again. Uh, we should have some internal pressure, but this time I want to add objects and I want to use this uh, one. Um, I guess it's box 33. I'm not really sure. So let's hit OK and check this. Maybe name this as well. Um, arm chair body, let's say. And now, then I can just go here, uh, go to object properties and add objects. You can see the name in here, so it will be a, a lot easier. So use this as a collision object, use this as a cloth object with, with some internal pressure. And this time we can use gravity, earth gravity, because we have a collision object. It will fall up on this, so it won't be uh, that much of a problem. Uh, let's, ah, sorry, let's erase simulation, go to the third frame. And we want to, of course, convert this to an edit poly. Or otherwise, it will uh, simulate with the other cloth, and you don't really want that. So this didn't work. Let's check the... Yeah, because we ch I guess because we converted that to an edit poly, it uh, removed itself from here. So let's uh, add this again as a collision object. Let's check everything is in order. Okay. And then hit simulate again. Okay, this time it should work. Uh, maybe some more pressure i guess because we have uh, gravity this time uh, it collapses in each, uh, in itself so yeah we could apply some more pressure and again we don't want to use this uh, version of course we want to use something like this i guess i don't know if uh, maybe this is too um uh, too distorted for you for your taste uh, if that's the case then uh, you could just uh, not use this as a collision object. Um, uh, yeah, it looks a little bit weird. I want I want more puffy of a. I, I'm I want to go for a more more puffy look because you don't have any uh, creases in here as you can see. So I just want to add some uh, a little bit of a style. So um, I guess this is too much. So let's uh, erase the simulation. Go to object properties and remove this from the equation. And uh, let's get rid of the gravity as well, because this time we won't need it. And in cloth, let's change the pressure to 4. Let's simulate it again, yeah. We have much smoother of a shape like this, because you don't have any objects colliding with this in here, right? Uh, it looks much... Uh, I get, not always adding more detail is better or makes uh, things more beautiful. Right, uh, be, uh, especially for me, I'm uh, an ad visualization guy. So in ads, we usually get trying to uh, get rid of uh, extra creases that uh, messes up the general feeling of uh, objects. So uh, you just want to add details that will uh, support the main feeling uh, you are trying to communicate. So in this uh, example, this is not a dirty house. This is not a used up, washed, uh, washed out. Furnitures, right? They are just brand new and they are spotless. So we are we are trying to go for that kind of a look. So uh, I guess this is much better than the previous one. Okay, let's apply the same uh, logic to this one as well. Uh, let's add a cloth on top. Go to object properties. You, you choose this as a cloth. Let's add some internal pressure and get rid of the uh, gravity. And uh, let's again. Puff that as well. Okay. 
I guess four is good for both of these. So I'm going to, in the fourth frame, I'm going to uh, convert both of these to edit police. Okay, now let's uh, group this, call it armchair. And I want to change the color to black and apply the gray material on top. Yeah, now let's end isolate. Delete these two, pull this back and rotate this a little bit. Okay. Uh, what I uh, feel is these arms are a little bit too wide for me. Is it? I'm not really sure. I get a weird feeling from this chair, uh, uh, armchair. So maybe you want to just make these a little bit uh, shorter and make this side a little bit longer. Uh, what if we want to do that? Uh, I'm going to hit Alt Q. Uh, the problem with this, you, I, I recommend you to remodel this uh, because it will uh, look better. But uh, the problem with this is because we converted this to an edit poly, uh, we don't have the, those controls uh, we had before. We don't have uh, the base mo base model. We have uh, Turbo Smooth applied to this edit poly. But uh, let me show you some ways you can. Uh, even still model uh, after this. Um, what you can do is you can hit one, choose all these, let's go to the front view, choose all these vertices and you can scale them in and pull them out a little bit and do the same thing for this, scale them in, pull them out a little bit and then let's scale this and this. Okay, this could be a method because you don't have the base, mo base model you can uh, easily change shape, uh, change the shape this way. And also maybe could pull this in a little bit because this cushion looks a little bit long, I guess, right? Maybe pull this out a little bit, pull this in, maybe make this a little bit uh, wider. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can play with these dimensions. Just try to get a feeling from the chair. Does, does this look, uh, of course, always look at this uh, at a perspective view. Uh, does does this look cozy to you? You want to sit on it or not? Just try to listen those uh, feelings. If you do that, then some if something's wrong, you will usually see that. Like for example, this looks a little bit high to me, but the uh, height could be could indicate. Uh, we check this and we know that this is forty two centimeters high, and it should be good. But the uh, the reason could be we puff this and it just went up right so what we could do is we could just open this uh, scale this down and pull this up yeah feels a little bit better right so just try to you think stuff like this and uh, tr like imagine you're sitting on this or trying to sit on this and if something is wrong then uh, you can feel it in my opinion let's check the height again this time it looks better but it's still a little bit high, you see. So what we can do is we can add an FFT on top, pull the bottom side in a little bit, uh, top side in a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. You see what I'm uh, saying, right? You try. You imagine you are sitting on this or trying to sit on this and. Then you will instantly uh, realize something, uh, if something's wrong with it, you will instantly rea realize that. Uh, I, actually, of course, we are trying to imitate stuff. We are not uh, just... You will never be able to do a perfect 3D model. Just keep that in mind. You are iterating, you are trying to get close to perfect. Uh, and when it's, uh, when it's close enough, then you need to stop. Because <laughs> otherwise, uh, it will take years to finish uh, one uh, little arm, armchair, right? Uh, I guess this should be a little bit bigger <laughs> and when I compare it uh, with this, it should be a little bit larger, right? Uh, maybe you, we could scale this in these two X sides as well. Looks better, yeah. Okay, so as I told you, just play with it. Just imagine you are sitting on it or you're trying to sit on it and then you will uh, get what I'm talking about. I guess I want to uh, zoom in a little bit and also uh, I want to just put my camera 
uh, I'll take this shot from a little bit, uh, move my camera a little bit down, let's say. Uh, when you do that, of course, uh, if you are looking from bottom to top, uh, these uh, vertical lines will bend a little bit. So take, to get rid of them, you can choose the camera and just click. Uh, here we should have... Hmm. Yeah, tilt and shift. Uh, here we should have a click called automatic vertical tilt. If you click on it, then it will fix that. Uh, everything is uh, everything will look uh, a little bit better okay and also i uh, realized that the camera angle was a little bit off and now uh, this chair or this armchair looks much better to me uh, if you are still um, not sure if you are still finding some weird uh, weird things in your model or this even th in this model then just iterate it okay just try to understand uh, what's wrong with it and try to make it a little bit better okay Thanks for listening. I hope this was useful. If you find it useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.